Okay, so hello everybody. Today we're going to do this month's mission inspiration. And the first prompt is to glue down fragments of paper. And I'm going to use a mixture of book text and music paper. Interesting parts. Get rid of all the blank bits. And I think that will do for the moment. Let's just pop these to one side. And I'm going to grab my matte medium. Cover the whole page so we don't see any of this. And I'm not looking at the pieces that I pick up, it's going to be quite random. This one. Um, yeah, the colours are very interesting this time. Okay, not sticking. The surface is quite shiny on these cards, so it's a bit slippery. again have a think about what to do because I don't know. I really don't know. I think I'm gonna need some more paper. Underestimate how big this page is. <laughs> Start out with the more muted colours and then use the peacock to really stand out on the page. I think. Got 
my slow cooker bubbling away downstairs. Nice beef stew today. I love that thing. Probably boring you all to death with that now. <laughs> right. That medium it's sort of drying up slightly now. I'm liking it already. Mishmash of papers. Vaguely remember the prompts. Um, just focusing on the first one right now, obviously. Something about feathers and birds and things. So. Music paper kind of goes with that, you know, that songbird. Casting. get a nice Halloween themed mission inspiration for next month because I love Halloween. Love, love, love it. First prompt done, and I can just see a little bit of the yellow poking through up there. Gone. Okay. So, I'm next thing to do is let this dry, and then I think it's wash of colour. So. I'll grab the prompts up so we can have a look and get some paints out and we'll have some fun. Right, <laughs> got the gesso open. Right, that was a struggle. So, I'll pop some gesso on the map. water because I want this to be quite thin it's just a wash shoe yeah I think that's thin enough and I'm going to use my gelato as butterscotch and I'm just going to pop some pigment down and the reason I'm using the gesso is so that it becomes permanent basically because gelato is water soluble they'll just keep reacting and this is our first layer and we're going to be Add in stuff, so it's almost a mustard colour. 
closest thing I've got to mustard. Good, I like it. Mm -hmm. I like that it's a bit streaky as well, so I'm going to leave that exactly as it is, let it dry. Uh, figure out how I'm going to put another wash of colour on top because we have got this to put two colour washes. And I don't know, I don't know what to do for the second one. I was going to put that gesso back in there but it's a bit brown so... So once I've figured this out, <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, so I think we'll just stick with the gelatos. We've got this Earl Grey, which will match the slate, I think. Which is the suggested colour. And I'm not going to cover it this time. I'm just going to do a few little... Use that gesso again. And I think that will do us for that. It's not too bad. Check. So next, a focal image or two. Oh, I have no idea. No idea what I'm gonna do. So I'll let that dry. Go and wash my brushes, and I'll be back when I know what I'm doing. Right. So. I'm thinking I might be able to get this page finished in one day. I don't usually do that. <laughs> now, so the next two prompts are, let me read them out properly, add a focal image or two, and glue washi, pa washi tape tissue or paper strips. Uh, so I'm going to switch them around a bit. This is going to be my focal image, and I'm going to do that in a minute. But first, I'm going to put down these feathers. Um, had a little accident taking it out of the packaging. Uh, it came like this, and this was stuck. 
to the thing. Uh, this is where I got them from. If you're interested, you pick five designs and you get one free, and you get four of each napkin. So, sorry, <laughs> distracted. So I'm just going to peel this off here. I have loads of different designs. I wanted some mostly Halloween ones. It's just awesome. So, do I cover the whole background? Do I just put some? Let's just go for the whole thing. Yep, yep. So, just to make it easier on myself, I'm going to cut this in half because I need that bit. And I'm dipping it in the gesso. I knew I should have cleaned that up before I came back on. So, there you go. <laughs> no rush to get it finished. Again. Spread that out nice. Similar colours, Alice in Wonderland theme, but there you go. It should look quite different, shouldn't it? We've got a nice bright picture of Alice to go on top, so. Uh, it's probably going to be quite bubbly and wrinkly, this, but that's the texture. I'm still filming. <laughs> when I actually press record. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use for my quote. Handwritten journaling or phrase, so I've got to think about that. It's got a quote on the napkin. I'm not sure. I might, uh, might remove that. One side for a second, put that there. Um, I'm going to grab my napkin and cut one of these off. I completely forgot I'd ordered these ones, so I just thought, oh, I'll grab the 
stash of napkins because I remembered the feather one. And I kind of had a flick through for a focal image, and there she was. Good old Alice. So, let's split this. There somewhere. Come on, that's one. Is it two ply? Is that just a really thick one? Wow, that's unusual. That's really thick. So I don't want a cut edge because it will be too harsh, and you'll see it. But I don't want to tear Alice, so we'll go around with the water. And then tear gently. Oops. A little bit too much water in some places, not enough in others. Be very, very gentle. There we go. <clears throat> <Right. clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> so she does just about fit on there, so that's nice. Trying to dry that. I think it'll be okay. I think it's dry enough. You don't want to do it when it's too wet because it will rip. Mm, you know what? Maybe I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun. Okay. Let's just pop some more matte medium down. Very gently, just in case there are any wet bits left. We'll rub over this. I don't think I've ever used a napkin that's so thick on a journal page before, so it'd be nice to see what happens. So the white napkin still looks quite prominent at the minute, but as it dries it may, may disappear a little more. What's 
the next prompt. Flat strips or dribbles. So I shall heat this up and grab some something to splat or drip or dribble and I'll be back. Okay, so I think I'm going to borrow Mike's idea for the drips, splats, dribbles, whatever. I'm going to use my peacock feathers which is a fairly new colour for me. I went crazy the other week and bought a load of them. Um, Distress inks. Just because I only had like the really distressy colours, I had Dusty Concord and a blue. Uh, which blue was it? Stormy Sky? And then I had like Frayed Burlap and Age Mahogany and Vintage Photo. So I fancied some colours, you know, something nice and colourful. So, yeah, I bought most of them as minis because of the space and cost and things like that. This is the first time I'm actually using this one. And this is the Tim Holtz stencil. Splatty splat down here. Hmm. Next thing is to find a freeze. I think I might be going a bit mad with this. <laughs> there we go. That's that. Oh, I need to put some velcro on the bottom of my pads there. Now I need to find a quote, so I will be back in a second. Oh, that took a while. <laughs> I decided what I wanted to say now. And I hate, well, I don't hate my handwriting, but I want this to look good, so I'm going to try and make this look nice. Bumpy. It's 
smooth that out a bit. Okay. These. Make sure I spell this right. Precious. Precious, waste it wisely. That uses the one of the words, which is time. What's the next prompt? Doodle or scribble? Let's get the smaller pen out. good at doodling. I'm a bit chilly so I've just popped my shawl on <laughs> if you're probably seeing it. Hmm. Doing it in black to match the writing. I know that she's black. Well, she's not black. She's drawn in black. But yeah, I'll bring that in, and I might grab a white pen as well. And just doodle a few little. one create a border of your choice um, somewhere and I have a little clock Use the peacock feather again. Why not? Hmm? Why not? I'm not going to bother mounting it. I'm just going to make sure we've got plenty of colour. I'm going to. Stamp. Random. Clocks around the edge. Mm. 
it around a bit so we get corner. There we go. Yep. Done. Job done. Cover your page with paper fragments. Cover with thin washes of two colours, add a five colour image or two, glue washi tape, tissue paper or paper strips, add splat strips or dribbles, add handwritten journaling or phrase, doodle or scribble, create a border of your choice. There we go. I think we can call that done. Mission complete. <laughs> there we go. I'm not very good at this. Here we go. Yep. There we go. So that was super simple. Once I figured out what I wanted to do. Enjoyed that very much. If you want to give it a go, the link for... The Mission Inspiration Facebook group will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, check out some of my others. Uh, I should be getting into the Halloween journal a bit more soon. And I think that's everything. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye.